Welcome to FBB Forum. I'm very pleased to welcome the stunning IFBB Pro Women's Physique competitor, Susan Graham, to the podcast today. This is actually a follow-up interview from our first interview in May of this year. Um, Susan has had a great competitive season this year, placing in the top five at the Masters Olympia in Romania back in August, and top two in this past weekend at the Legions Pro in Reno. And uh, she was only one point shy of the winner, Julia Monroe, and they had a real epic battle for the top spot. Um, Susan is one of my favorite bodybuilders, and I'm so glad to have her back on the podcast. Welcome, Susan. Thank you for being here. Thanks for having me, David. Thank you. Now, I just wanted to ask you about your competition season and um, say, you know, I thought you looked amazing at the Legion's Pro. And obviously the judges liked your look because you're, you know, you, there was just one point separating you from Julia. But um, I was just curious, are, are you, were you kind of bummed out that you didn't win? Because, you know, it was such a tough battle. Well, I, I don't think, I don't think anybody that works as hard as we do to get to this stage would just be like, oh no, that was great. <laughs> no, of course I'm disappointed. Um, but I mean, yeah, I mean, it's, you know, I brought my best and, and it is what, I mean, that's just bodybuilding for you. I think I've said this in our last interview, it was like, you know, you have to get, you have to have kind of tough skin in bodybuilding because there's a lot, I feel like there's way more heartbreak than, <laughs> than there isn't. And, and so you just always just kind of have to roll with it. Yeah, no, you're right. And and it's such a subjective sport too. And it, it kind of depends on the judging panel from one show to the next, I think. Oh, totally. Yeah, no, I know. Yeah, I think you're right about having the thick skin. And um, and um, I think that's true in any sports, too. But yeah. I, I think it, it might be worse in, in a subjective sport because you just don't know what the whims of the judges will be. Yeah, I I think so. That's that's kind of like sometimes I always say I like powerlifting because it's you either you either squat or lift the weight and that it is what it is. It's not just based on you know how pretty it is or <laughs> anything. Yeah, I definitely understand that. Yeah. And it's um yeah, that yeah, I, I have heard though that powerlifting can be subjective because in terms of like, you know, the the time and, and the and how complete you do. So it, yeah, but I mean, ultimately, like if you do your pauses, if you get to depth, you know, if you don't hitch, you know, no, you got it, you know. But like sometimes people are like, oh, that wasn't a hitch, or that, you know, that was depth, you know. So, but <laughs> I mean, it's a lot less subjective, I guess. <laughs> oh yeah, no, I totally understand that, and that makes sense too. Um, now, um, I know you know you also competed at the Masters Olympia and placed in the top five, which was great. And you looked phenomenal there too, but what was your experience like in Romania? And, and would you want to go back there again? Oh, the experience was great in Romania. Um, I don't know if, you know, the sport is really expensive as it is. And so flying all the way to Romania was uh, a little bit, just made it that much. I mean, it was, it was quite spendy to get there. Um, but no, ultimately I had a, a great experience. I mean, I loved it. Yeah. And it was fun to compete. You know, there was some, some people I was um, excited to meet there too that I've just have seen compete, but never have actually got to compete with them. Very good. Yeah. Was that, um, had you been to Europe before? Yeah. I just never been to Romania and I never had planned to go. So it's kind of nice that I got to go check it out. Very cool. Did you get to see any sightseeing while you were there? Or? Yeah, we um, ended up, after the show, we took a train down to uh, Bucharest, or yeah, Bucharest, and spent a couple extra days down there, and um, yeah, just kind of tooled around and just checked things out, and yeah, it was fun. I bet it was beautiful there. Yeah, I um, I would be great if if they do move Masters Olympia maybe back to the U.S. or maybe alternate it or something. Yeah, that would be really nice. <laughs> yeah, I know that would be really good, and um, as many. I was, you know, just because it is difficult to get there, how many competitors came from the U.S.? There was quite a few U.S. competitors, but it's... Yeah, I think um, I think there was maybe half or slightly over half was from the U.S. Wow, that's really good. That's impressive, huh? Yeah. It's great that the Masters Olympia is back again, too. I just thought that was terrific. Yeah, it really is. Now, I was curious, did you get any feedback from the judges at either of your shows on where they want you to improve your physique? Oh, yeah. Um, so, yeah, at Masters, 
I guess my whole competing career, I've always, I've always been the one that can come in pretty uh, conditioned and get pretty lean. But my feedback is always, I need to be fuller. And, and, oh, and up until recently, it, it's been, I always need to always build something, you know, it's, um, so it masters, I, my main, my main intention was to come in fuller there, which I came, we came in super full. I was super happy with it, but not quite. I didn't have the conditioning that I, I like to have. So, um, so that's one thing that we did different between masters and legions is that I just, I kept, I, we kind of nailed the fullness again, but we had a few more weeks of dieting to get just a little bit more conditioned. And I really liked the look that I brought at legions at a uh, master's Olympia. Steve said that he would like to see my, um, he thought I could bring up my lats a little bit and on my back. Um, and usually my backside is always my, my weak point. Um, it's always great. Like last year at legions, it was bringing up some depth in my back. Um, Steve said maybe build more lats, but then, um, after legions, my feedback was that I'm on the verge of being too big in the upper body and, uh, and that I need to, um, work on my posing and walking to kind of not take away attention from my thicker waist. And I knew, I, I know this is a, one of my downfalls. So I'm always trying to tweak things and, um, my posing and stuff, but yeah, I just need to keep working on that. And I think I need a new suit. My new, my suit just, it just doesn't stay up where it's supposed to. And so, you know, it's hard to get new suits if you haven't worn them like this because they're so expensive. So mm -hmm. I, um, I probably should have just bit the bullet and got a new suit, but, um, but I went with the same one and that was one of my critiques is that that could be better. Sure. Yeah. I think, um, Wendy Fortino during the commentary and the live stream mentioned that, and if you like pulled up the suit more, it would show more like the, the V effect and stuff. And, um, yeah. and, and I tried, like, I, I have, I brought my own glue. I use their, I use the Protan glue, like just cause it won't stay up on my hips. And even when I'm standing off the side of the stage, I was like trying to hold it up and like pin it like to my side so that when I went up on in the front that it would stay there. But as soon as I would do like my first poses, it would keep on inching down. So, so yeah, it was really annoying, but uh, learned my lesson. <laughs> oh no, I'm sorry about that. Yeah. I didn't know that the suits are so expensive for the women. I mean, they really are. And then I, I, another thing is I would get a new suit. That I would definitely get a new suit. But the only problem is what's the chance of it just having the same issue, <laughs> you know? Yeah. So. Well, that's true. Yeah. You might need Velcro or something. Just like I know. I I've talked to a few people. <laughs> There's some solutions. So I'm. I think I. I think I've got a new a, a suit maker that is on board, and I think I think I'll have next time I compete. I will have a better suit. <laughs> and how much do suits cost generally? Just uh, I know. I mean, I think your your low end for like a good suit is about a thousand dollars. Wow, wow, that's some big bucks. I mean, there's other ones that are like, you know, you can get them cheaper, but. I just think when you're competing on the pro stage and you're trying to go to Olympia, like, yeah, that's what you can expect to pay. Yeah, I understand. Wow, that's some big bucks, though. I know. <laughs> a suit sponsor maybe would be nice. <laughs> I know, right? Mm -hmm. No, that's, um, and um, I, I thought you seen fuller and, and more conditioned at this show, Legions Pro versus Masters Olympia. I thought yeah. you, you definitely yeah. improved, I thought. Yeah, I definitely had the conditioning where I liked it. And, uh, you know, I, like I said, like I've always had the conditioning. So when I went to masters and like, I, you know, like my backside, it was mostly my backside that where you could really see that I was lacking the conditioning. And so, um, but, you know, like I said, like my main goal at masters Olympia was to come in fuller, you know, like I've tried so many things and it just seems like I always just get so flat. So we kind of just went all in for the fullness and we nailed it. But, um, but yeah, it was just, but yeah, you just, every show you learn a little bit, you learn something and you tweak to be able to get better the next time, hopefully. Yeah, that's true. No, I think that's good. Um, yeah, there's always room for improvement and yeah, I, I really thought you looked just in that, what, less than two months time. No, less than that. It was like 
almost like a month's time that you yeah it was pretty short yeah it's like it was I think it was like six weeks five weeks Mm -hmm. yeah no you you really improved I thought you look great yeah I was happy with the package I brought now I I would I think a lot of people would be surprised to know that you met the age requirement for master's (laughs) oh and I forget how old are you I'm 43 43 yeah I just think your proof that you know, bodybuilding reverses the clock. I think you're, you're <laughs> good. <laughs> good. I um, should try. <laughs> no, you do. Yeah, you look awesome. Yeah. Thank and um, and um, yeah, and I think the Masters O was 40 plus, right? Yes. Yeah, very cool. Would you consider doing, I know you, you know, you did open at the Legions, but would you consider doing Masters at some other competitions or Masters and Open maybe? Yeah, I so last year I did the Masters and the Open um, at Legions, and and I ended up I won the Masters, and then um, and then I took fifth in the Open last year at Legions, mm-hmm. and um, but you know it's so whenever you enter a Masters show, you have to you, there's a entrance fee where any Open shows if you're you know once you get your um, you get your pro, you um re-update your card every year you don't pay for entry fees as a pro but if you do Mm -hmm. masters you do have to pay an entry fee Mm -hmm. and so they're usually on separate days so then that's another day of hair and makeup and tanning and it's just like so if you're if I mean I guess if I had all the money in the world and all the time in the world I would probably do them all but it's just you know it's just so much I mean it's just so much effort to do all of them and whenever masters it's it's more just it's more for fun, you know? I mean, I guess last year I did masters just because I hadn't been on stage in so long and I had no, you know, I was just wanting to get on stage. And so now, so I, I feel like I'm the most competitive I've ever been. And, and I, I'm more interested in trying to go to Olympia. So I think just focusing on the open is, is kind of what I'll do. Sure. I totally understand right? that. Yeah. No, I, and I think you're going to get there. I think you're going to get to the Olympia maybe next year because you're really looking great and you'll keep improving too. I'll work on it. Yep. Never stop it. <laughs> yeah. Now, um, uh, w- you know, do you, do you have an idea of where you want to compete next or is it going to be next year? N- no plans. It's like I said, like the, after a show and especially after like something that happened last weekend, like emotions are so crazy in my head you know it's just like one second I'm mad and then another second I'm just like oh I should be grateful I got second you know it's like I feel like such a (laughs) I kind of feel like a jerk you know whenever I'm complaining about being second but I guess this is under the circumstances of like you know how close it was and Mm -hmm. and uh yeah so I think so yeah there's just so much emotion like it I am in no place to even you know make any decisions and yeah sure totally understand that yeah no and um yeah i know that that's got to be a lot of range of emotions because um yeah to, to place second out of like what 22 women was really very impressive but then to be one point shy of the win it's just like oh yeah that's man. the hard part i think you know and and you know and as you look at it like um where she she looked amazing but like there was so much of her that didn't really like i feel like you know, I thought, I felt like she, you know, I, as far as I understand, she's kind of just transitioned from figure, you know, and I'm like, you know, I think she's just an, an adorable figure competitor, you know, and like, she's an adorable physique competitor too, you know, so I just thought that, you know, I was just kind of, uh, I guess, just really surprised, you know, about the, the, you know, and then there were so many other girls there that are like, you know, very competitive physique athletes, and they were just not even, I mean, and they were like, nowhere near where you would think they would be in the lineup so so I guess I should have just been ready for anything (laughs) sure yeah I totally understand that I one that has come up a lot is Heather Grace I think a lot of people are surprised I think she wasn't even in the top 10 I don't yeah I I know she wasn't in the top 10 and and that's the thing is like at Masters Olympia she placed third where I placed fifth and granted like I feel like if I could have brought the same package to masters I probably would have placed differently Mm -hmm. but even still like to go from top three to not even top 10 I mean that is kind of crazy I mean is that really how women's physique is going or is this just this one I mean the judges like I've never I don't think I've ever been judged um well head judged by um 
the panel. Well, this is a whole panel. I didn't really know. Sure. And it that's I think that's part of what we were talking about before the call too, that the the whims of the judges can vary so much from show to show. And I think that kind of proves it too. Yeah. And maybe yeah. even from country to country, you know, getting, <laughs> you know, Romanian or, or European judges versus American judges. And over in Romania it was Steve. So Oh, that's true. Yeah. So Steve was, yeah. Um, and who is the head judge at this show? I forget. Um, his name's Tarek, I think. Oh, oh yes, I have heard his name before. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I think I, I've only I think I know his brother more than I know him, but I've mm -hmm. seen him around. But that's yeah, the first time I've ever had him him as a head judge. And um I don't know. I and mean, he got, gave me feedback and you know, he was yeah, he he let me know what I needed to make better and change and mm -hmm. so very cool. Yeah. And I don't disagree with everything he said. So Okay. Yeah, that's good. I think it's good to get that feedback too. Um, but yeah, no, I know it was, yeah, I know what you mean though. It was um I actually had seen Heather Grace compete in Daytona the week before and um and she placed in the top five there, I think. So that's what I would think. I mean, yeah, she's a good compet she's a really an amazing competitor, you know. And and I'm sure, I mean, like, you know, as we get more muscle, I feel like each judge kind of, you know likes different kinds of muscles in different places you know and so it's like you just you know I don't know it's just it's I don't know, you can't get to analyze it too much because you drive yourself crazy I just am going to do the work I'm going to show up do my best and try not to get too bent out of shape if I don't agree sure I totally understand that I think that's a good attitude too that's a positive yeah. attitude yeah I think you have to have it to survive <laughs> in this in this sport. Mm -hmm. I think so. Yeah, I think you're de definitely right about that. Now, um, I know that you you do powerlifting and you've done powerlifting meets. Um, how has powerlifting kind of helped you with your bodybuilding career? Well, <clears throat> I don't know if it's like you, you, so having my my waist be kind of a be thicker, you know, that's everybody's like, oh, it's because she's powerlifting. Well, I've only powerlifted for like a handful of years and just barely. And so, but I've always had an issue with a thicker waist. So, but powerlifting definitely isn't probably going to help that. Mm -hmm. Um, but um, but it did help put a lot of size on me. Mm -hmm. And I don't know too, it's like kind of stepping away from bodybuilding and going to powerlifting just kind of gave me a break from um being so obsessed with what I look like and bringing up lagging body parts. I just went to the gym. Like it was kind of like the first time I really enjoyed lifting when mm. I was just powerlifting um, mm. in the time in between competing. Um, and so, I don't know. I mean, for one, I think it just helped me lift heavier weights that maybe helped me put on the size that I just never seemed could, to get, could was able to get just bodybuilding. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's, yeah, I just think it just the just the heavier weights help me build more muscle. Um, but um, but yeah, I don't know. You know, most people would say that it's hindering my bodybuilding, but like I said, I don't think I've been lit doing it for long enough that it's the reason my waist is thick. I just think I've just always had, even back when I was starting out, it was never my strength, my waist. Sure. No, I totally understand that. I think it's good that you put on more size too, because I think it's helped you in your yeah. bodybuilding career for sure. Oh yeah. I, I was just spinning my wheels when I was, you know, cause I kind of, I competed up until 2017, pretty, pretty hard. And then, um, and then, yeah, I, I just couldn't, I just was, I just felt like each year, even though I was working really hard, I was just kind of almost getting worse and worse. So that's mm. when I just stepped back and regrouped and kind of just stepped away for a little while. And, and it really did me some good, I guess. So, but mm. yeah, so I don't know if it was just the taking time away from being obsessed about body composition and just lifting weights, or if it's the weights that help, it's probably just a combination of everything. Yeah. For the fans out there, I encourage you them to check out like your pictures from like 2015 2017 because yeah you were definitely you didn't have nearly as much size back then and, yeah and yeah you, you totally look different now and I think you look a lot better now yeah I mean I feel like I like I don't know I, I had a post the other day just saying that 
how I'm, I'm just really excited because I really do feel like I'm more of like a competitive physique athlete as where before, you know, I was just kind of, I, I look like a physique athlete, but I wasn't really a, a, like a top contender or anything. So, but, but with where I'm at now, I really feel like I am definitely more of a, like up there and more of like where you want to be if you're really trying to get to the Olympia. Yeah. Oh, no doubt. Yeah. You're definitely much more competitive now. And I, yeah, I, I think you look a lot better now. Thanks. Definitely. And I think in terms of your waist, I guess, I mean, yeah, that's hard to change that, but I guess yeah. you just have to, and you've brought up your lats, but I think. Yeah. I, get yeah, that I've done, yeah. I've had lots, I've done a lot of comparisons of like, like I was showing my coach just not too long ago, a picture of me in like 2012, like it was right after I turned pro. Uh, and it's like, yeah, I just, I have it, it, my waist is, it's definitely not, it's so much, I mean, it's probably smaller, but like my whole body is smaller, but the look between now and looking at my waist and just cause my lats, it's just like, it's crazy different. Like it just, like, I totally have a waist now compared to before, um, even though, yeah, the judges are still not liking it it's way better than it's been and mm -hmm. yeah i think it's just due to building some good lats and i think the fact you brought up your legs too and it definitely gives you more of an x frame for sure i think yeah and, and it's I always been like my upper body's always been kind of my lagging a part of my body like my legs were always good and then um but yeah the upper body but yeah so i just think yeah now i'm just bringing a more complete package i guess i think so yeah no totally you can definitely see a big difference um no, that that's very cool. Um, now I was curious, did you end up changing up your prep this year versus last year, or even between the Masters O and the Legions Pro, or getting ready for those shows? Yeah, well, so last year going to Legions was just kind of like I said, like I hadn't competed in five years, so um, m my goal was just to get on stage and look like I belonged, you know, and and so whenever I went. That's why I did the masters last year's because I was thinking, well, this is where I'll meet probably be most competitive is, you know, since I've taken this time off because you really never know, like when you're going to diet down, like what you're actually going to look like once you, you know, get all the layers away and you actually see what you, you have, you know? And so, um, it, and I, I was super happy with what I brought last year, but really I didn't do very much bodybuilding training going into that I kind of was just doing um powerlifting and then I think yeah and then I just kind of did less powerlifting and maybe some bodybuilding in my actual like 12 week of prep for the show last year mm -hmm. and then but then after doing well and I was like okay I really want to like see what I can do. So I, so this last year between last legions and this legions is I, I did train more like a bodybuilder and I still like do some of my powerlifting and I did do a powerlifting meet earlier this year, mm -hmm. but, um, but yeah, it's been like more of a, your typical, I don't even know if it's typical, but it's, but it's more bodybuilding focused training. And, um, and then between masters Olympia and legions, I, um, I didn't do nothing, not a lot changed. We did having the feedback of building a little bit more lats. We did put a little more focus on the back and, mm -hmm. um, and actually think that we did some, some good improvements in the short period of time that we had. Mm -hmm. So, but that's all that really changed. I noticed that too. I think your lats were brought up a little bit more between shows for sure. Yeah. Yeah. But I feel like every every little bit leaner I get, my waist gets tighter and everything just looks better. <laughs> yeah. No, I think you're right. Definitely. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, you look terrific, I think. Um, yeah, and I um yeah, just um um well, let me go ahead and go to the next question. <laughs> now, <laughs> um now your husband Robin, he's a power lifter, is that correct? Yes, he is. Now I, I was curious if you've been is, have you been training with him? Because I know he's very supportive of you, of course. Yeah, it's actually been really fun because I've been a competitive bodybuilder. I started bodybuilding in 2005. And um, and then my Robin and I got married in 2008. And so like I've always been really a, a serious competitor. And he's always worked out. He's never really had like 
like powerlifting goal, like actual goals, like I do. So now that he's into powerlifting, it's actually been really fun because now we're both working on like this athletic endeavor. And, and, and so where like before he would be kind of bummed that I don't want to go out to dinner or, you know, I, you know, don't want to do the, the fun things that take you away from your diet and training. And now that he's really focused, it kind of, it makes it so much easier because, you know, we both don't want to go out to dinner. We both don't want to go do things that are going to make us stray from our program. So, sure. so it's actually really awesome to have us both doing it. Has he ever considered doing a bodybuilding show, do you think? Or would he do one? No. <laughs> no? Okay, cool. No, that's great though. Yeah, I think that's great that that yeah, y'all are um both working toward a, a goal like that. And um yeah, and and um yeah, that, that definitely makes sense, I think. Yeah, it's awesome. Mm-hmm. Def- I think getting old too, you don't you don't <laughs> you don't do as much crazy and as I don't know, fun things. I don't know. We're kind of lame. <laughs> So it works out pretty good. <laughs> and he's a farmer, right? I mean, so yeah. He, yeah. So that's kind of old fashioned and and you're probably kind of far from the club anyway. So you can't. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and, and, um, and what does he, he farm? Yeah, we grow uh, apples, cherries and pears. Wow. That's so cool. How many acres y'all have? Uh, so so I'm kind of part of a kind of a family business, but and he he works for the business. And I mean, there's thousands of acres that he manages. But really? um, wow. yeah, that's so cool. That's really cool. Yeah. <laughs> um, now, I was curious, um, have you ever done any modeling? Because I always thought you were one of the most beautiful women in bodybuilding. But I was curious if you ever did modeling, even in pre- well, Thank you. No, I, I think I, I was thinking about this. I. I think I entered like the 17, it was 17 magazine. Like they had like a model search every year. I think I entered that like three times when I was in my teens, but, but yeah, other than that, like, yeah, I, again, I just, I don't know. It's, I grew up as a farmer. So again, it wasn't anything remotely that I would really get into. Sure. I don't think the way I did. Have you worked with any of like the fitness photographers or anything like that? Like any Rebecca or? Um, not really. I mean, uh, Joe from HD Physiques, he's done a couple of photo shoots because he's persistent <laughs> and he talks me into it. But other than that, like it's kind of the last thing I want to do. I, I really, I love bodybuilding for like the discipline and like the, the regiment, like the, I love having a goal and working towards it, but like the actual stage day and the photo shoots, like I could do without that. <laughs> sure. I understand that. Yeah. Joe does a good job too. I like HD physiques. He yeah. Does. I like Joe. <laughs> now I was curious now that you've been in this kind of epic battle and I think your name's getting out there more. Um, is your social media kind of blowing up now? <laughs> I mean, it is, there is a lot going on. I don't know, but like I said, with all the emotions, it's kind of like back and forth. Like I'll, I'll log on and it just kind of puts me in a bad mood. So, <laughs> Oh, I see. I yeah. No I way from it. <laughs> yeah. Might be good, better to put it away and check it later and stuff, you know, that's what I'm, that's kind of what I'm doing. Cause yeah, like, like I said, like it was, it was kind of a tough, tough one to swallow, you know? So, mm-hmm. and then every time you, I open it up, it's talking about it. So yeah. yeah, I totally understand that. Yeah. <laughs> and um, the we talked about being in kind of the small city of Wenatchee, Washington. I was curious if do you have like a supportive bodybuilding community there or people understand yeah. what you do? <laughs> no, not. I mean, I don't think in my whole bodybuilding career I've ever had like, you know, like I see gyms that are just all bodybuilders. and I'm so envious of it, you know, so every once in a while, you know, I find another bodybuilder, but like, other than that, like it's, I'm usually just all by myself. And like, I have like, I'm a coach too. Like I have, um, a per, I'm a personal trainer. And so I have a few gals that I coach, but you know, not, nobody that is like, you know, uh, competing in the IFBB or anything. And, mm-hmm. but I mean, I can, I mostly train at my powerlifting gym where, I am definitely the only bodybuilder in there, but I, but I love everybody in there. They're like, they're all super supportive of me, even though they most of the time they, <laughs> they don't get what I'm doing or why I'm doing it. But, sure. but uh, yeah, it's still, it's still the support that gets me through. 
Is now is that your home gym behind you or? Uh, yeah, this is this. I have this is my studio. Very cool. So you got some good equipment just at home. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's nice to have that kind of equipment and and um be able to use that and. I imagine sometimes it's hard to get to the gym because of weather or snow or whatever. Oh gosh, yeah. I mean, and sometimes it's, you know, you know, if I need, there's like certain days where I'll have lots of like, like upper body machines. Well, then I'll go to, I have a Planet Fitness that I'll go to here. And, um, but yeah, like if I can, if it's like, like body weight or box jumps or, you know, deadlifts or something, I can do them here at my house. And, uh, but yeah, so I kind of, Throughout the week, I go to probably three different gyms between my gym, Planet Fitness, and the powerlifting gym. So mm, that's cool. I make it work. <laughs> yeah, that's still and that's still nice to have those available. How, how big is Wenatchee? It's kind of small. Yeah, I I don't know. Last time I heard it was like thirty thousand, but I'm sure that was like ten years ago. So <laughs> there's, you know, it's hard because it's kind of it's kind of like the center of Wenatchee maybe is 30, but then I don't even think I live in the city limits right now. So it's like, I don't know how they exactly what the population is. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. I was looking at the map. It does look kind of small and yeah. And we're kind of far from things, you know, so like the closest we're like two and a half hours from Seattle. So it's not too bad, but like, and then another big town would be like Spokane, which is another two and a half, three hours away. So, wow. so yeah, it's, it's just kind of like, if you really want something that would be in a big city, you have to, you have to drive. So. Sure. Yeah. I understand. Yeah. Um, well, I hope that you'll come to Tampa next year. Cause that's where I am. So I'd love to see you compete. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I, I mean, there's lots of good shows down there. Yeah, there is. Yeah. There is a lot of good shows here. So, well, thank you so much for your time. Um, I really appreciate it. And um, I'll get this posted relatively soon. I was wondering, um, as you as I mentioned, if you wouldn't mind doing a quick uh, flex, but but talk real quick though. Okay. Yeah. Well, thanks for having me, and I will definitely be back again. Thank you so much, Susan. You look terrific, and um, yeah, Thank definitely um, get this posted. And and thanks for your time, and and uh, best wishes to you and your future endeavors for sure. Awesome. Thank you, David. Thanks, Susan. Take care. Bye. Bye. Bye.